Good afternoon and welcome. This afternoon I'm going to talk a little bit about pets. You know, these guys are often very, become very special to us. And this is more for people if you haven't had a pet, or thinking of getting a pet. Some things you might want to consider before you get a pet. Uh, as you can see, she's having a little problem today. She had to have an eye surgery again. She's had a couple more of them. We're waiting on the biopsy, see what we're dealing with here. Uh, first, they thought it was a cherry eye, which they then found a thorn in the eye and uh, in the tissue around the eye. It was not in the eyeball itself. And they removed that and they come back and it's a growth, a little tumor. So we're waiting on that. Uh, so one of the first things we really need to think about if we're getting a pet is we want to find a veterinarian before we even get a pet. We want to find our veterinarian, locate them, uh, maybe have a visit with them because they're going to need shots, uh, parasite medications, you know, for worms and ticks and such, fleas. So you want to have that all, and we have to realize that these guys can get expensive. You know, these things like this eye surgery, this can get pretty expensive. So are we ready to spend the finances it's going to take to take care of these little guys? Because there's more to it than just food and water. So we'll make sure we got our health care. We're ready for that before we even get a pet. Now, pets can cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars if you go through a pet store or you get something special. But I'm going to suggest you go a different route. If you've been following the channel, you know I have quite a few cats around here, and we have the three pups. This is just one of them. So why not adopt? There's lots of these little balls of love and shelters and rescues that just need a home. And often you can be had for very little, a very small adoption fee or even for free. And they're just as good, often better, than something that comes out of a puppy mill. Uh, they may not have papers. But papers don't mean love. So consider that. And before you get a pet, maybe you want to volunteer. Maybe you want to foster a puppy or a kid. Uh, they, you know, there's often opportunities where you can find out if, if owning a pet is right for you. Uh, through fostering or volunteering at a shelter. Or a rescue. Often they're short-handed. They need somebody to do the dirty work. And there's one other thing I'm going to cover is time. These little guys can take a lot of time. There's veterinarian appointments that we have to keep. Uh, they need baths, cleaning, clean up. With this eye, it's a little extra every day. I got to take care of this. Uh, she had to go in. I had to go back and pick her up two days later. She has to go back again to get the stitches out in, in uh, 10 days. Now, there's follow up appointments for all of that. One of the other pups got had a seizure this morning, got sick. He has, he has these occasionally. We do have medication for him. But in the course of having a seizure, he threw up in the house. On the chair, on me, on the blanket, on the floor. It's amazing how much one of these little guys can hold. And how far they can scatter it when they're sick. They will occasionally have an accident. They get the diarrhea. 
uh, they can make a mess in the house. Are we willing to take time time to clean it up? Do we have patience to clean it up? Uh, if you don't have the patience, maybe it's it's not your time to have a pet. Uh, I'm gonna take that in consideration. But patience. Oh, that's just old smoke. It's not her favorite kitten, cat. Uh, she has her particular kitten she likes better than all the rest. So, but anyways, time and patience. I mean, do we have the time and do we have the patience to adequately take care of these little guys? No, stop that. And one other thing I do want to bring up is special needs pets. At any time, one of these little guys can be perfectly healthy one day, and the next day can become a special needs pet. They can have an accident. Or they can get sick. Uh, you know, I'm going to take that in consideration. So we are ready. You know, take consider. Are we going to be willing to put up with all that? Take care of it. If something like that happens. Ah, uh, here we go. Don't be so grumpy today. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Wants to get in the action too. Because, you know, this is not just something you just want to be... When something happens, we don't want to just throw it off. Uh, we get a When they become a special needs pet, we got to be ready. And willing to take care of that. Uh, and if you do have the time and the patience, consider a special needs pet. There's thousands of them out there. And they would like a home. And they're just as loving as any other, or an elderly pet. You know, senior pets, there's another one, they're really hard to place. Uh, you know, it's very rare that we can find a home for a senior pet or a special needs or disabled pet. Just my thoughts. Uh, Some things to think about before you get get a pet. But anyway, so why don't you all go out there, pet a kitty, scratch a doggy's tummy, <coughs> have a wonderful day, stay safe, get those hands dirty, learn something new, and above all, 